What is up everyone, Epic Graphic Violence here and with another Cinema 4D tutorial. So, um what I did was I kinda just created a quick landscape. If you want to know how to make this, uh check out the um the Power of Christ Compels You tutorial part two, because uh, I mentioned how to build landscapes in there. And I also something that I brought up but I didn't really go into detail was how to create a sky texture which is what I'm going to be teaching you today so as you can see here it's kinda hollow on the other side but hey it looks good so um since I'm teaching you this um last time I kinda told you you know be lazy and just put in a picture well uh, today I am showing you how to create your own sky texture so, um, let's say that you did something like I did. Uh, you built, you built a little picture and, you know, it still shows the sky, but when you render it, it's all gray, black and ugly. So, um, let's just unrender that. Okay, so now what you do is you select this. Okay, so let's go ahead and spawn in a cube. So, I don't want this 200 by 200. I don't care what size you make yours. But, um, okay, so let's click apply and great. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to click new texture. You go to the color palette, click new texture. I already have mine set to white. If not, if yours is in the red, just drag it to the upper left corner and it should just be plain white. Now you go down to this transparency tablet. You check that, and as you can see, your little thing disappeared. So now you want to play around with this brightness bar until you get it to about the transparency you want. So right now you're creating a cloud texture. So that's about the correct transparency. So now that you have it selected, you take the texture that you just made, you click, you drag and drop right there. And now it kind of outlines it with this little dotted pattern. So, um,. If you're thinking, oh man, that looks ugly, well, don't worry about that, because, um, right, as you can see here, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, show that dotted pattern. Yeah. Okay. So, this is what you do now. Click CV, and that copies and pastes it, CV. I, just, I select 100 because it's easier to move around. CV. Alright, congrats. Now you have your first cloud. So let's bunch that together. Drag that drop in there. Let's rename it cloud. Okay, so now that we got all that settled out, you can just drag that to about where you want it. So let's just say you make it a bit, bit small. Um, okay, so now when you render it, congrats, now you have your first cloud. Um, if you don't want those little lines, I'm sorry, I, I don't really know how to fix those. I guess what you can do if you really truly want to fix those lines, you just double click on the texture and then you just take the transparency off, but then you can't really see through it. But I guess that would kind of look okay, because when you render it, there's your cloud so I guess that would look fine but it just wouldn't look uh, like too realistic towards minecraft wise but yet again minecraft isn't realistic so CV let's drag and paste that but let's make this let's uh, make our clouds kind of a variety type thing so there's another cloud Drag that in the cloud one. Okay, so now we'll just kind of use those two clouds. You can make a larger variety if you want. So um, I'm just gonna use these two clouds for uh, just for demonstration. So awesome! Now you kind of have your sky background. Okay, so now when you come down here and you see the sky congrats now you got uh... some clouds up at the top so but now you notice man your sky's still black 
So what you do is you come over to this little white circle with four arrows sticking out of it. You open up that toolbar and you hit sky. Now when you hit sky, it gives you this grayish texture instead of your typical black. So what you do is you create a new uh, little texture thing. You make sure color is selected. Go to texture, create new texture, and now you want to mess around with the colors a little bit. So you sky is typically sky blue, so right here. And I don't want this little little glowing dot and that shadow thing there because that just makes the sky look weird. So I'll turn the specular off. And there you go. Okay. So now that we have that turned off, we come over here, click the sky. Okay. And um there. Right there. Now you see you have your little Minecraft cloud type thing but it doesn't end there because in minecraft there's still a sun so what you probably want to do is this is where um... i'm guessing that transparency would come in handy spawn a block that is about size two hundred then copy and paste it select the second block and make it one hundred by one hundred by one hundred this makes it so that there is an outer layer and an inner layer. So now that you have that in, so you have to, oops, I forgot to click the apply button, and that's a very important part or else it will not work. So, you click apply, so there. So now you have an inner layer and an outer, um, I'll play around with the sizes for a minute, see which one looks the best, I'll make it one, 150. Yeah, that looks about that looks pretty good. Okay, so now you're gonna create two new textures. So one inner layer of the sun is about a like orangish type thing, so nah, it's a little bit too brown. Um there, about that shade of orange. So now that you got that in there you place that on your first cube okay so now now you're doing the outer rim which is more of a yellowish so um... you create new texture go to this yellow and then you probably want a very light yellow click ok and now this is where that transparency will come in use okay so now you just want it so that you can barely see it drag it up to this cube here and there you kinda have your sun um, I think I'm gonna change the cube to about a, maybe a little whitish, you know, just to make things look a bit better. So, um, oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, so, okay, and we ran the oranges, so right about there would be good. I don't know. Most likely, I'm not gonna get this uh, texture thing right. So this is that's just kind of how you make a simple sun. Now, if you think that's too small, that's a really simple fix. You drag that, make that one, or make yeah, make that one. Close that, rename it sun. Great. So now you do that. You click the rescale tool, and you click, and you enlarge. So now when you render, looks like that. So when you combine the two uh oops, that's not what I meant to do. When you combine the two together, move this over here. Let's kinda make like a sunrise effect. So So um now you got kind of ah keep enlarging it. So now you got yourself a little sunrise effect. So now when you click render, I'll add in a couple lights too. So that way, you know, it looks a bit better. So it doesn't create. Yeah, adding in lights, that sh basically decides what's visible and what's not. So uh, lights are very important. Okay, so now let's go to the ground view. Okay. Render that up, and that's a 
bit bright, honestly, but uh, that's because I put so many lights in there. So, um, let's make the color a little bit darker on this light. So, now when you render it, still a bit bright. Okay, so now if you want to add light to your sun, uh, just take your light and move it right in the middle of it. So, um, you want to make it so that it's not really visible. Good. Okay, so now you go to the, make sure you have your light selected. You go to the color. Sun kind of makes an orange glow. So, come right here. Click light. And then when you click, now your sun makes an orange glow. You can kind of see it on the clouds. I'll take off these lights so that way you can kind of see the effect that it has so as you can see it does that but when you add in more lights it makes more of an atmospheric mood so um, you know it it helps if you add in more lights is what I'm trying to say so I think if you put a light here and if you put a light over here then it should clear up the brightness and there you go. There's your kind of sunrise effect, background. Um, this is my first time actually setting this up, so uh, don't blame me if you think it's not good. The clouds turned out okay. The sun, I'm still kind of working on the brightness, so yeah. That's about the best you're going to get the sun using my technique. Or uh, actually, you guys could probably find a better lighting for it, because the only problem I could really find is the lighting. Overall, the layering looks fine. So, now you know how to uh, create your little sky type uh, scenery and up in the sky. So, um, that's how you create a uh, sky environment in uh, Minecraft. Alright guys, I hope this was of help to you. And this is Epic Graphic Violence, signing off.